Hello, I'm Brady Halls and welcome to A Current Affair. First tonight, the little town turned into a big tip with city rubbish. Some residents are furious, but others say it will bring much-needed jobs, splitting the town in two. Tourism, not trash! Tourism, not trash! Waste incinerator. What the hell? What kind of smell is it going to have? Over my dead body will it be coming here? I do not want this community to become the garbage tip for Sydney. Road race, not pollution! I voted this mayor in. She's done a backflip. Is this the answer? Of course it is. We don't have a lot of choice. At a two hour drive from Sydney, the town of Lithgow isn't close enough for locals to enjoy the capital's amenities. But it's apparently perfectly placed to take and burn our rubbish. A waste to energy plant that would see this area become the state's trash capital has some residents seeing red. The Willerawang power station burnt coal for decades, but now its new owner Greenspot says its future lies in burning trash. A plan to incinerate Sydney's waste at the site and turn it into electricity is being sold as an opportunity for jobs for the region, but some locals say it reeks of environmental and health risks. Don't trash our future. Dozens of residents descended on Lithgow Council chambers to trash the idea after they claim the newly elected mayor, Marie Statham, did a backflip post-election. Betrayal. <laughs> How dare she? We feel as if we've been let down, really. Former Lithgow Mayor Ray Thompson retired last year. You know, this is not the first time that this has arisen in Lithgow, and uh, I, uh, I know that in my lifetime it would never ever have been accepted. Among locals' concerns is how will 500,000 tonnes of Sydney's waste get to Lithgow, with precarious roads over the Blue Mountains congested already. Greenspot says it plans to use rail to transport up to 90% of the trash and clean away trucks for the rest. I'm tired of them making short-term decisions that are going to have long-term impacts on my people. Adrian Williams is worried about the impact of toxic gases on sacred Aboriginal sites and on his children's health. We've got so much rock art around here, why should it be put at risk through extra chemicals in the air? My kid's got asthma and I live at Willerowen, so how's that going to impact him? Yes. Tom Evangelidis left Sydney's eastern suburbs to buy a mansion in the town and raise his three-year-old daughter. The current council, before the election, were also strictly opposed to it, so I kind of thought, I felt very confident that at least our representatives were doing the right thing by the area. And then, when the new council got elected, and all of a sudden, oh, I actually like the idea, I, I was floored. It's so disingenuous, I couldn't believe it. The photographer decided to wrap his Mercedes in garbage and take it to a council meeting to vent his disgust. I just want the locals of Lithgow to see that there's actually people there that really give a damn about Lithgow. But Mayor Marie, who doesn't actually live in Lithgow, doesn't seem phased by the opinions of the townspeople. What did you make of the people who showed up at the front of the council chambers? They can do whatever they like doesn't bother me. What would you say to people who feel like that you've backflipped? Oh, I can easily explain that without any doubt whatsoever. When I voted on it in September, I found out that day in the agenda and I didn't have a clue what it was about. I voted to get more information. That's exactly what we've got. So nobody here has ever changed their mind in their whole life. Well, I don't believe that for one moment. Don't believe that for one moment. Believe it. Be honest. Be honest, please. All right, well, I'll be honest. I haven't got a reputation for telling lies. These members of the Willerawang Lidsdale Progress Association back the mayor. We need these jobs. We, we really need this. I honestly don't see it as a bad thing. It's a win-win, I reckon. Well, all the guidelines they've got to work under, 
And if they're not working under those guidelines, it'll be closed down straight away. Greenspot claims the facility won't emit offensive odours and released gases will be monitored to ensure they don't impact air quality. Why would people want to come here when, you know, we'll be thought of as um, the rubbish tip for Sydney? If it wasn't so serious, it'd be laughable. The experts have said this is clean green and green clean and you've got the go ahead. So that's good enough for me. Well, not good enough anymore, apparently. As a result of the backlash, council is binning the idea. Greenspot calls the decision perplexing.